Hello guys, the shit game plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Thank you, kind sir. And as for this video, we have the AMD Adrenaline Drivers 23.7.2 review. And as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year 2023, 7 is the month July, and 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of July. Before anything, I just want to tell you that, well, these drivers don't bring anything new, these drivers just bring some fixed issues. Um, mostly some annoying issues that some users uh, were having but these drivers were supposed to bring some new things uh, like some of the new things that you were waiting for and I was waiting for and I know that for a fact I can say which things but AMD is looking into well optimizing it to the max in order to bring you the best experience possible but they will come very very soon they will come I guarantee and of course they'll come and today's sponsor is arriving Today's video sponsor is GVG Mo, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And today software does not have any kind of new uh, or, or new supported games like for example Ratchet and Clank, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I do have the game, I tested the game with, uh, with the 7900 XTX, um, but it still doesn't officially support the game, okay? But it performs better. But anyway, let's start with the fixed issues. Stuttering may be observed while playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 with Radian Anti-Lag enabled. And this is an issue that I actually had in the previous driver somehow, so I have uh, completely messed up frame timing, uh, frame timeline, so the frames were like this, and the 1% lows were, were very, very poor, but somehow, even with the, well, Windows got updated, maybe that was it, uh, Windows got updated, the game got a small update as well, so it might be Windows or it might be the game update, but it is now, uh, once again, the lines are once again smooth okay so the performance is better in terms of one percent lows than it was before it wasn't the drivers like i told you in the previous video it was the game and well we can see that now intermittent corruption may be observed around some player models while playing atsune miko project diva megamix plus that's a big name on some amd graphics products such as the raiden rx 6900 xt higher than expected gpu memory utilization when using certain record and stream settings such as instant replay display signal may be lost after switching windows on certain adaptive sync enabled displays on some amd graphics products such as the raiden rx 7900 xtx audio may intermittently become out of sync with video when recording from amd software adrenaline edition with avc and hevc codecs which once again is odd because I did not have that problem. I recorded with AGVC as I do in most of my videos and not because AV1 isn't better, because AV1 is better in fact. I just don't use AV1 because my um, my editing software does not like AV1 that much. So it, it kind of does not support the AV1 playing uh, hardware side on the, on the software. So even if my card completely demolishes AV1 and loves AV1 like the 7900 XTX because it has hardware engine for the AV1 codec the software does not uh, work with it very well and it will crash on the timeline when we're producing the videos and why I'm using AGVC and it was everything fine for me the same on the 7600 non-XT but some people do have issues and well at least they acknowledge that they do have issues on the ABC and the GVC codecs. But once again it is fixed so if you have these issues on the 23.7.1 they are now not presented on the 23.7.2. If you still have those, those issues though leave your comment in the comment section and let me know if you have them or if they're fixed indeed. And once again we do have lots of fixed issues which is a great thing but we do also have some known issues. The first one is performance metrics overlay may report NA for FPS on various games, something that is known as well. High idle power has situationally been observed when using select multi-display setups with mixed high resolution and high refresh rate displays on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs, so idle issues are still a problem. They became, they became much better 
much better. So those issues were kind of mitigated with the 23.7.1 uh, drivers, mostly on single display monitors, uh, on single display setups, sorry, but on multi-display setups, well, there are some issues with high idle power still. But, well, if they actually kind of fix it on the single display part, they will most likely do it as well on the multi-display one. Yeah. Intermittent corruption may be observed playing Rocket League with Bloom set to off on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6900 XT. And this was a problem that people were also complaining about on that 23.7.1 that they had some flickers, they had some artifacts and so on. And it seems that it happens due to having, for example, the Bloom, the Bloom option off. Uh, if this is true or not, if it does happen as well with the Bloom option on, I don't really know. But if you're playing Rocket League, you're most likely better with the 23.5.1 or 23.5.2 drivers. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Ratchet & Clank Rift of Part with ray tracing and dynamic resolution scaling enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7900 XT. And this is one of the interesting things because the developers actually disabled the ray tracing on the AMD cards on launch because uh, they had some issues and these drivers were, defi were definitely made before um, the game was launched because they were still using ray tracing on that game, they didn't disable it before, so these drivers were made before that and that's why they do have the known issues that they have issues uh, with ray tracing and dynamic resolution enabled. It all makes sense now. This, this is gonna be fixed obviously because they're working with the developers, but it's a thing. It's annoying. For me it's not annoying because I don't care about ray tracing in 99% of games, but still, um, it, it might be annoying for some. Anyway. And the final known issue is audio may intermittently become out of sync with video when recording from AMD Software Adrenaline Edition with AV1 codec. So this is an interesting, an interesting, <laughs> my, my tongue is like tumbling inside my mouth. Anyway, this is a really interesting thing because um, on the previous drivers we have audio desync with all codecs, it, it seems. But with a 23.7.2, they actually fix the audio desync with AVC and AGVC codecs for the people that actually had the issue once again. But it seems that AV1 is still not working properly. So yeah, if you're if you have one of these cards that support AVC and AGVC or even AV1, just use the AGVC because uh, it has very good quality at higher bit rates and it doesn't have the the issue with uh, the audio desync. And as for the things that I that I found with these drivers, well, these drivers are are such a kind of a clutch uh, before the the real ones come out with many more things that the things that changed here aren't really that much. The only thing that I found was that, for example, performance was more or less the same. They did perform a bit better in Ratchet and Clank, although they don't officially support the game, so it's a plus there, uh, at least with the 7900 XTX, of course, at 1440p. And we also have now on the installation part before the actual installation, so a little bit before, we have there AMD actually uh, asking you if you allow or not the, um, that AMD collects data uh, of your usage on the software to improve software development. So if you really want AMD to improve and you want them to automatically collect data instead of you, for example, having to go to the bug report tool and report the exact issue that you have, if you want to improve the software development, you can just allow the collection of data automatically um, and AMD will collect that data when you have, for example, crashes, they will collect that data and they can improve the software further because of that. So if you really want them to improve, you can do that. If you don't really want them to automatically retrieve data from, from your usage and so on, well, you just select do not allow and you're completely fine like you were before. That's basically what I found with these drivers. And well guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video as that always really, really helps. And, and well, without any further delays, let's go to the performance comparisons, which most of you came to see uh, with the RX 7600 and the RX 7900 XTX, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, in, the pre in the next videos, as always, I, I, I kind of change cards, so sometimes I do the, 70, the, the 6750 XT, sometimes I do the 5700 XT, it depends. I usually change the cards uh, in between driver versions for more, uh, well, to have a, a broader 
a brother uh, reach, let's say that, a brother reach. Once again, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what's your experience with these drivers, if they're better, worse than the previous ones, uh, or if they're equal for you, if the, the, fi the fixed issues were actually fixed or not, and if the known issues are happening to you as well or not, because that's how we actually help the community, because that's one, of, that's one of the reasons, and actually the main reason why I make these videos is to help us, the community, as a whole. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Members of the resistance, report to your nearest intake facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. We promise. Report to the VIP section of your nearest intake facility for compulsory behavioral modification. It will be fun. Fun.